Hey, what's going on, people? So, I'm here with this uh, Peterbilt. This is a, a 379, uh, somewhere around uh, 2000 to 99, somewhere around there. 2002, maybe. I don't know the year, but it's a 379. It's got a, uh, a Cummins N14. Um, they have another guy out here that just finished the in frame in there and um, it idles real good it's real smooth uh, we don't have no codes as you can see here no codes at all but whenever you raise the RPM I'm just gonna do with the cruise control in here uh, you do the RPM and as soon as you hit like uh, 10 right there you can see it start missing and uh, the RPM is kind of up and down, up and down a little bit. And uh, I guess if you run it for a long time, or or, or you know, by the time it it uh, it'll store a code saying that uh, the power to the injector, whatever injector it is, it's um, it cuts the power to it or it loses power whatever it says I mean you can tell out there you know really easy by unplugging the the connector you know you can tell the let's go check it out real quick so you can tell right here you know by unplugging this thing and the problem they had it, it was on the number one and number four so I'm gonna unplug number four right now and it doesn't do anything. It just stays the same. And now uh, I have to unplug number one and it starts missing. So I already uh, changed an injector in that one. I had one in the truck landing in there and it perfectly fit in this. So it fixes the problem. As you can see, saying the uh, oops okay so it's in uh, uh, 14 to a 1600 rpms the power of the injector turns off <clears throat> so as you can see now okay so I got another car right here uh, this will be for number the one I just unplugged and this one will be for number double click in there we have an m14 okay so we have an no current detected at injector 4 injector return pin 6 of the actuator harness connector when the voltage supplied of pin 15 of the actuator harness connector is on so uh, <clears throat> I mean so it's got that, you know, it's saying that the power to the injector is it's it's off. So it just gives you the all the 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 specs here. So it says inspect solenoid wire pass through connector pins, dirty or damaged pins. A step uh, two check for an open circuit less than 10 ohms. Measure resistance across the injector solenoid. 0.5 to 1.5 ohms will be uh, good. Check for short to circuit to ground more than 100 k ohms. So that's that's um, uh, all the steps you gotta go through. But uh, I guess to make it easy for me, I'm gonna go here to the to the. Um, Diagnostics test and uh, no, actually yeah test and diagnostics and then we're gonna choose um, the number one two three the number four which is a uh, injector cutouts based on uh, acceleration so we're gonna choose that one and then we're gonna go on the bottom section it's gonna pop this thing fuck this for you a little bit better so I'm just I'm just gonna turn the idle on the cruise control here 
I'm just gonna let it idle to whatever specs you guys set it up, six, seven hundred. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna start the process. And this is the method I find easier for me to tell what was the problem in this. So now it, it start getting a uh, RPM by itself on the test up to uh, 14 to 1500 RPMs. So it says uh, it's it says uh, uh, okay. So it's kind of says uh, injector cutouts is for 15 seconds. It, it it register changes on the RPM. If the RPM it's higher than 21 RPMs that cylinder passes if the rpm is less than 21 it's fell so we are at uh, 15 15 uh, 100 rpms as you can see right here and you can tell 21 if it's lower than that you're fell so we're gonna choose it was having problems with injector number one right here i already swapped the injector i did this this test in the morning now I'm gonna test number one again, and right there, and all you do is click in there and wait. Right here, it'll show you uh, injector one has been cut, and it's uh, getting information from, from the engine, the ACM. And it'll take uh, 15 seconds to do that. And as you can see up here, so the change on the RPMs 89. It used to be like a five, I think, with the bad injector. So it, it did a five right here. So I swapped the injector and now pass. Okay, so I know the other injector that is bad is the number four. So I already click on number four and now it says injector number four has been cut and it's waiting for the information. So now uh, we get an information and that information you want is right here, right there. Look, you see how it changed that? It says minus 32. So that injector is fell. Okay, so that's I guess the easiest and fastest way to diagnose uh, this problem, you know. Uh, of course uh, you have to check your wiring you know do a visual inspection and all that stuff after you do all that whatever you got to do in there you know I mean uh, uh, and you still suspect that it's a bad injector so um, uh, you go ahead and, and, and take your computer you know and, and some of you I know don't have an, a computer but um, uh, we can uh, if I mean if you guys have a laptop and stuff we can help you out to set you up on, on the uh, with the comments inside software and we'll, we'll help people you know and um, any questions I mean just just leave them on the comments and I'll try to answer as soon as I can and subscribe to the channel you know we are just a new channel here and we starting uh, uh, doing you know some work around here and we have more videos coming up any questions just subscribe all right thanks